<laughs> Start of the final term here, 1999, elimination final in the GDFL, live on match day on Geelong Radio. And Sol Lamarckio gets the first t tap out, but only as far as Steve Delahunt at halfback. Handball inboard to Harding, good. That's brother Brett, and he gets a kick yeah. that's partly smothered by Lynch. But to look at that second effort, got in front yeah. of Lynch. He was behind him, he was five metres behind him. Oh, good play, Brett Harding, to see it over the badger line on centre wing. And Lincoln East straight up there to make sure he knows all about it, Brett Harding. Good work. Second effort was good. Boundary throwing right in the middle of the interchange here on centre wing. Sold Lamarckia and Frost. Get it to the side of the pack. Buckingham through the middle. Gets a kick away towards half forward. O'Leary attacks the footy. Bad bounce. Flanagan can run onto it. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. Oh. Goes for a kick off the ground. Dallahunt cooling across us. Picks it up. Gets a good shepherd from Broom. Goes long towards Pilgrim and Parisi. Sold Lamarckia comes across off hands. Peters. Peters gets a kick left foot towards half forward again. Flanagan against two. Perkins muscles his way in and takes that grab. Ashley Perkins at half back. And we'll be able to settle things down for the Tigers once again. Pilgrim, that's Ron, gives him a short lead. O'Keefe a bit longer. He goes in that direction now. Sets it up for him. Murray from behind. Needs to punch it away. Good defensive play. Zane Carroll tries to push in front and gets it again. Oh, and breaks away through the pack. Left foot kick. <laughs> Good to Frost. <laughs> oh, no 10, said the umpire. Smothered by Sol Lamarck. He goes towards O'Keefe. Taps it on towards Connors. Oh, he's ripped off the footy by Murray. And Stefanoski, two eyes, says the umpire. And it will be a free kick at half forward to Kevin Connors. Yes, Connors uh, in front of our broadcast point. Half forward flank. Plays on quickly with the left foot. Drives to uh, half forward. Ooh. Paul Rose was sort of sitting under the ball and uh, it uh, come clear over the head of Peters. Can he run onto the ball? No, he can't. Coming through Delahunt off the ground. The solid stay defender. Played a great game up there. Out on centre wing. That was uh, Harding. Overrun it. Sheridan picked it up for recent suburbs. Over the shoulder looking for O'Leary. Can't quite get the ball. Oh, Harding's come back again very strongly. Dives on the ball. He's uh, bottled it up. What's... Uh, too high. Uh, well, too high. Kick to uh, Harding, Harding of uh, Bannockburn. Rick Harding plays on with the handball over the top now. Delahunt sees a lead up further on the off. Oh, Carroll, good mark on centre wing in front of Lynch, and uh, he's playing right across the centre line in this last quarter. Looks like Carroll drives it over half forward. Well, Shaw can't take the mark. Comes down to Connors, picks it up, but. Uh, Forced over the boundary line, unfortunately, and it's out of bounds between centre wing, half forward flank, out of side of the St Albans ground, two and a half minutes, final quarter. 16-9, Bannockburn, lead Eastern Suburbs, 5-5. Boundary throw in now, Sol Lamarckia and Frost. Sol Lamarckia gets to the front, slaps it down in favour of Lynch now, who can handle inside to Parisi, but it's oh. behind him again. And then he's got Buckingham in support, who has to stand his ground. Got to push in the back, Parisi. It's advantage paid. Buckingham takes a bounce, can run away on centre wing. Two bounces. Probably could add another one. He goes now from half forward, long towards full forward. Ferguson, one out with Hewitt. Ferguson uses the body. Good punch away, Hewitt. They've had a pretty good tussle today, these two. And Hewitt says it over the boundary line at half forward. And uh, both built the same, those two, and they've uh, had a great tussle at full they forward have, and full back. Uh, yeah. Jason, but that was a bombing again. Yeah, bombing the forward sure. line, you know. That's not, that's not going uh, to help you, one bit at all. Nah, and since he's come on, Fergie, he's, he's uh, given him something to aim at, and, and he has moved around for him and, and presented himself f fairly well. He got the tap out on that occasion, but only as far as uh, Ashley Perkins oh, spins out of the tackle, gets a handball away to East, who gets it to Rose, who can get it back to East. He elects, though, to get it inboard to Brett Harding, who can uh, kick it out wide to Lincoln East, who kept running. He's got an absolute paddock now. Can take a bounce. Like Keith comes at him. He takes another bounce. He's taken. He can draw another play. Takes three. Draws keep O'Keefe. Keep going. He can keep going. Now Murray has to go. Handball over the top uh -huh. towards O'Keefe. It's okay. And he can set something up at half forward. Wide towards Andrews. The drainer takes the mark. And Shane Andrews now from 50 on the boundary. Plays on quickly. Goes long with the left foot kick. He's missed it to the near side. Hasn't come back far enough. And three for one behind. And uh, he goes on to five goals two. He gave it a good ride though, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give yourself a good <laughs> chance. 16-10, yeah. 106. They lead Eastern Suburbs 5-5-35. McCormack there, kicks in, well outside 50. Ricky Harding comes back on the ball, punches it forward. It's come to uh, Frost. Oh, I thought he might have been tripped up there on, on that occasion. Frost, but he, I think he might have tripped himself. Landed on top of the ball, two or three players on top of him, and the umpire will come in right on 50. Almost a true centre-half forward for the Bannockburn side. And uh, umpire just waiting to recover the ball, which he does now. Up it goes. Soldo Lamacchia. High in the air, gets it back to Stefanovski. On the right foot, kicks it wide to centre wing. Frost is in good position. Can't take the mark, however. Buckingham can't take the crumbs off. Frost, good effort, second effort. Pull the ball back in. Now it's come clear once again. 
Running onto the ball is uh, Broom. He's done a good job today, young Broom out there. Gets it uh, to centre half forward, Ronnie Pilgrim. He's tackled, follows up, punches the ball along the ground forward. Can uh, Frost pick it up? He can't. He kicks it off the ground, but only into the arms there of Salta Lamacchia and uh, Eastern Suburbs at centre half back save the day again. Back to centre wing, two on one. Falls to the back, Irving of Eastern Suburbs. Takes the ball, drives it uh, over the head of Flanagan. Sheridan's coming onto the ball half forward over the top to Flanagan. Can he kick a goal this time? He's running to 35, puts it on the right foot and I think uh, good effort there on that occasion has kicked the goal. So uh, that's his first for the, the day, uh, Sean Flanagan. Eastern Suburbs sixth and the Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard six minutes into the final quarter, 6-5, 41 Eastern Suburbs. They trail Bannockburn 16-10, 106. Better build up on that occasion from half-back boys. Yeah, really yeah. good there, yeah. Just went over to the option. There was two on the one over there with uh, Ricky Harding over there, and they just worked it out nicely and just moved the ball uh, down through the through the corridor. And you know, hopefully they can, as Paul Camerota said at three quarter time, you know, just play with a bit of pride in this last quarter. You're just about spent, Laurie, aren't you, as a coach? I'm Today, just had you've, that's you've just been up. <laughs> Back in the middle, Soldamaki gets it down. Perkins off his uh, leg. Back towards Soldamaki. Breaks a couple of tackles. Gets a kick away. Wide towards Harding, who stands there, and, and the only the man for the eyes with the ball, and he takes the mark at half back. Easy as you like. Goes on oh, Ronnie Pilgrim. Actually, Parisi's done a good job on him. Yeah, he has. Yep. Uh, Ron Pilgrim wide to Lincoln East. He has to sit there and wait, and he takes the grab. Got Carroll. Oh, look at that. Drills it straight oh. in his chest, if you don't mind. Jeepers. Look at the skills. Carroll gets it over the top, just sets it up for Clinton Shaw. Has to make some ground up, but does so easily and takes the mark. Inside 50, just on 50, actually, be kicking from. Pretty close to the boundary line. Clinton Shaw, who has kicked uh, one goal one this afternoon, goes now. Drives it into the 10 metre square. Sold the mark. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Andrews. He's been threatening to take one of those all day, hasn't he? Well, a couple of times he's nearly come down with rain on his head. Oh, he's, yeah. far, but, uh, he's taken this one. Good mark in the pack situation, the drain up. He's kicked five goals two this afternoon, Shane Andrews. And a chance to kick number six from uh, three metres out, 45 degree angle. Should have no trouble. Have you marked it down, Laurie? Yes, it's down. Ooh. Ooh. Just wanted to see if he did. Ooh. Andrews, oh, he runs around a little bit. Goals. Put in the tennis courts. <laughs> Puts it in the tennis courts. Six goals to Shane Andrews. 17th to Bannockburn. 17-10, 112. They lead Eastern Suburbs. 6-5, 41. I did say some weeks ago he could be the key to the finals, this fella. That's why we've got you up here, Eric. You know what you're talking about. The guru of Geelong football. Hey, he knows what he's talking about. That's why we got him. But he had a purple patch. Like he's kicked yep. eight, six, six, and five, I think. And now another six today. I'll tell yep. you what, it's, uh, it's nice to have a focal point in the final. Eric, a guy can, that can jump like that, it's always going to be a danger. Well, he can always always uh, move him up the ground too to centre half forward or even onto the ball. He's done, done ruck duties this year. So, you know, he can be very versatile for him. Back in the middle now, Soldamarkia up against Frost. He's rucked unchanged this afternoon. Frost done a fair job. Soldamarkia gets it. Oh, Ronnie Pilgrim through the middle, loses it though in the sand. Getting it back, Parisi to Peters. Puts him under pressure, Harding. Good tackle. Peters just wants to tap it on. He does so. Dallahunt overruns it. Back towards Branoff, off the ground towards centre half forward. Stevenson falls over the crucial stage. Tries to get it back towards Sean O'Leary. Does so and gets a kick away as well towards full forward. Coming out though, Hewitt and also Gad across there. Gad keeps his eye on it and runs through. Does well. Good defensive play. Goes towards Brett Harding under pressure from Shorty Peters. He does well to just let it go. Per fault. Perkins, and they run on. <coughs> King takes a bounce. Ashley Perkins runs through the centre wing. Can take another one if he wants to. Poor kick off the boot. O'Keefe sits for him okay, though. If it's running for you, it runs. Rose, he goes now with the right boot. Oh, he thought about kicking it, and then uh, handballed it in the end to Pavic as he fell over. Go back to oh, Zane Carroll behind dude. him. Turnover now, and Murray. Bit of time to set something up. Back towards Sol Lamarckia. Too long for him, though. Over Harding's head towards Irving. He's got Lynch in the middle. Goes to the left foot kick, and O'Leary. They go at it. He roves while they roam. Well, they... Oh. They get it somehow. Towards O'Leary. Oh, I don't know how. Sean O'Leary got it. Takes a bounce. Should kick the goal. He can run in. He's got uh, 40 metres. He should run all the way and kick the goal. He better kick it now. Oh, he's missed it. He's hit the post. Well, that just talks volumes about the day, doesn't it? For Eastern Suburbs. That about sums the whole situation up. 10 112 Bannockburn Eastern so 6 6 42 some final AFL scores Eric yeah, a couple of good games Western Bulldogs 16 10 106 West Coast Eagles 16 8 104 two points to the Bulldogs Kangaroos 16 17 115 defeated Collingwood 15 10 100 Ooh. and Port Adelaide 13 14 92 Adelaide 9 14 68 the power up Buckingham takes the mark now on centre wing oh just sets it up for Solomarkey but it's okay he's free 
holds it there now. He's got Parisi in board, but he likes to go back now. Stevenson gives him a lead. He goes in that direction, and also Ferguson. It's two on one, and punch away Della Hunt straight to Rick Harding. Good play, runs through the back line, switches play towards the grandstand side, looking for East, and also Buckingham East in the gun takes the mark on the chest. Buckingham, not much he can do there. Floated well for East. Kicks into space for Harding. Great kick. Look at that. And Harding runs away from Solomakia, who gives chase. He's done well to stay with him. He goes towards Roweth. Roweth on the tap goes back towards Solomakia. Oh, Tapped it out. Luck. Roweth towards Hunter. <laughs> Harding does well. He's at one against three, though. Solomakia did well and gives it back to Shorty Peters at centre half back. Looks for a handball going past. None forthcoming. Goes on the left boot into the middle towards Buckingham. Setting it up here. He's got a vacant centre half forward position. If he wants to go, he can run. Draw a player. He goes long towards full forward. Ferguson one out with Hewitt. Ferguson goes up one hand can't take the mark, off hands towards Hewitt and it needs some support, Ferguson there also does well over the top of it and holds it up, Flanagan in there, tried to do that today, Leary off the ground, great play, Nathan Rose back to Broome, they're working overtime, the Tigers defence and they clear it, back towards half back, two on one again, coming through Sheridan, picks it up one hand, turns it around the corner and kicks a goal, that's a great goal <laughs> Adam Sheridan <laughs> oh, a bit of class here wasn't he kicked his second and uh, the seventh for Eastern Suburbs, 7-6 48 Bannockburn 17, 10, 112. And uh, whew, fair pick up on the run. One hand yeah. and then turn around and kick over the shoulder. It really, Laurie, he needed to do a bit more of that through the day, though, hasn't he? He's, he's sort of been fits and starts. Yeah, he's been in bits and patches, uh, Eric. And, uh, yeah, he's tried, though. He's, oh, I think he's yeah. tried hard out there today. He's been one of the eastern suburbs folks that have tried. He's, he's, you know, the way the numbers against you hold you back a bit, I think. I think that's been his main problem. In the centre of the ground, up higher with the ball. 12 minutes, final quarter, up it goes. Sodler Lamacchia gets a big tap forward once again. Running on the ball, Harding, Rick, handball across to Delahunt. Just steadies, out he goes wide. He's got uh, Matty Pilgrim back in the ground on centre wing. Takes the mark, Harding runs on on the overlap. Little chip pass over the top to Ricky Harding. Oh, dropped a chest mark, comes back on it, however. Handball back to Matty Pilgrim. They're mucking around with a bit now, Bannockburn. Over the top again, it's Nathan Rose. Rose of Bannockburn, shocking kick from Rose, but he's, uh, well, found his uh, teammate in Pavic out there now. Uh, oh, young Harding running into half forward, <laughs> takes the mark, he runs straight past the uh, defender there, <laughs> and a magnificent well and kick missed has it. missed. Missed it. <laughs> but uh, great effort from uh, Brett Harding, and he, he made uh, Nathan Murray look like a bit of a novice there, running half pace, I think. 17-11 on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard, Bannockburn 6-7-6, six, six, Eastern Suburbs. Back in play, McCormack got it towards Murray. Back Good down play. by Carroll to Matty Pilgrim. Ripped off the footy by Lynch. Peters can run away from Carroll. No, he can't. Loses the football. It's off hands. He should get a free kick for a hold and does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Shorty Peters and Murray Fanning will, will uh, be on each other's Christmas card list. I was going to say that. They'll be off each other's <laughs> Christmas card list. I don't think they'll be on there. Lincoln East, free kick, handball to Matty Pilgrim. Inboard. Got Ronnie short. He says, give it to me, brother. He does. And he marks it centre-half forward. Ronnie, he'll probably go Eddie Hocking here, get around him. He tries to. Oh, just measures the pass to Stephen O'Keefe, you don't mind. They're very playing around with him now, aren't they? <laughs> Stephen O'Keefe will be kicking from just outside 50. It'll be a good kick from there. He has kicked uh, one goal two this afternoon, Stephen O'Keefe. There's a lead on. So he goes in that direction to the drainer. He goes up, can't take the mark. Three, four, Eastern some of his players around. Trying to get it out, Sean Rundle. Can't do so. Wrapped up by... Shane Andrews and also Clinton Shaw. Shorty tries to get up and looking for the free kick. <laughs> He's not going to get one there. <laughs> tries every trick in the book, the captain, I'll tell you, David Peters. But uh, it will be a ball up. About 40 metres out from Baddick Burns' goal. Andrews goes up early. Sold Lamarck in. Neither can get an effective tap. Goes towards David Peters again. Gets it out to Sold Lamarck. Yeah, can get it wide to Buckingham. Does well. Sets it up. And takes it to half back. He can run away. He's only got Frost in front of him. The lead's on from Flanagan. Broom's right next to him. Flanagan just used the, the body well to nudge Broom under the ball, and he can run onto it now. Pretty close to the boundary on half forward. Goes towards Sheridan. Puts a hand up. Gad against him. Sheridan does well on hands and knees. Handball. Back in board towards centre half forward. Matty Pilgrim across there. The umpire gives a good shepherd towards Jake <laughs> Hewitt. And he uses that and goes with Nathan Rose. Gets it to Robbie Giles in the middle. Brennan coming at him. You have to be careful, kid. You better run away from him. And he does. Keeps going with the right put. Just sets it up. Bad kick. Oh, Nathan Murray yeah, turnover. Takes it at half oh, back. Then. Yeah, Giles has let himself down with his disposal a bit today. Eastern Suburbs. Peters takes the mark in the centre. Over to Parisi. Parisi tries to get away from Carroll and does. Gets the kick away but uh, Nicky Pavick's the only player out there. Paulie uh, directed again from Eastern Suburbs. Pavick over the top to uh, Carroll. Carroll runs onto it on half-forward flank. 
What can he do? He's on the left foot, he's got a little chip pass and he's found Ronnie Pilgrim sitting there. Pilgrim now. Well, he's gone for a, well, a real mongrel punt. Yeah. That's the worst kick I think I've ever seen Ronnie Pilgrim do. It's marked at uh, centre-half back by Hunter of Eastern Suburbs. He's gone back to the centre of the ground. Solder Lamacchia coming through. Great tackle, uh, Ricky Harding. Of course, the, uh, the spillage on that occasion. Eastern Suburbs get it to centre-half forward. Sean O'Leary takes a strong mark just inside 50 at centre-half forward. Just outside 50. The kick goes to the full forward position. Hewitt, mark not paid by the umpire, plays on. Kicks it out wide. Matty Pilgrim takes the mark on his chest. Handball to Giles. Yes, yeah. Here's a player. Well, if the kick will find uh, Ricky Harding, he's 35 yards in the clear. It's a uh, Rowith. Has one bounce. Has a second bounce. Heading toward the 50 metre arc now. And. Uh, oh, umpire fanning, if uh, you don't mind. Could what he's doing with Sandown blocking. You're allowed to shepherd if the ball's five yeah. metres in fr front of No? OK. Free kick. All right. Too far away. Too far away. You're only looking after your cousin, that's all. <laughs> Goes back towards Matty Pilgrim. <laughs> uh, couldn't keep it in, Matty. Right in front of the <laughs> radio commentary box. <laughs> Jeez, lucky we're not on TV, Fano. <laughs> <laughs> Boundary throw in right in front of the Chong radio commentary box. Murray. Soldamarkia. Soldamarkia now to do the ruck contest against Delahunt. Soldamarkia. Both hands to it. Towards Sean O'Leary. Gets it one way, then goes left, can get a handball. Right. No, he likes to go with the kick. Goes now towards half forward in front. Flanagan off hands, Pavic to the mill. Flanagan did well to get it back towards Buckingham. Rides one bump, then short little handball to Flanagan. Had Peters wide and got him. And he takes the mark. Plays on now on half forward, right on the boundary line. We'll want to drill it back with the left foot towards Ferguson. Ferguson goes up, off hands. Hewitt does well, handball to Harding. That's Rick. Handball wide towards Frost at half back. He can go to Pilgrim, that's Matt. And he takes it on centre wing, uncontested. He goes short to Shaw. Geez, they're just testing their skills here, I reckon. He's got it just in front of uh, centre wing, Clinton Shaw. Now, what does he do? He goes with the right boot towards Brett Harding. It's all right. <laughs> Wasn't the best kick, but uh, Brett was there. And he took the mark. Andrews gives him a lead. He wants to go long. There's nobody in the square, so he kicks it behind everybody. Roweth works to the front. Solomarkia comes across. Can't take the mark off. Hands is there, though. Does his own roving. Oh, then lost it. Lincoln East in the right forward pocket. Breaks one tackle, but uh, it is out of bounds. Can't stay in, and it will be a boundary throw in. 17-11-113. Eastern Suburbs 7-6-48. Bannockburn leading. We've been playing uh, 17 and a half minutes in this final term. Boundary throw in. Solomarkia up against O'Keefe. He uh, throws it up now. Oh, Soldamarkia takes out of the ruck contest. Gives it to Sheehan. He can run away. Takes a bounce. Takes two bounces. Got Murray in board. Goes to the left boot. Oh. Well, set it up for Clinton Shaw and he takes it away. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Shaw goes backwards uh, to the centre of the ground. Pavic takes the mark. He's got uh, Frost on 50 on his own. He takes the mark. Peters arrives about uh, five minutes late to stand the mark. A little chip pass there to uh, Ronnie Pilgrim leading across the uh, the front of the players. Oh, great tackle, Pilgrim. Ball underneath uh, Parisi and... Uh, well, the ball given back to our player, Fanning. By who else but David Peters. Yes. <laughs> so I think he did say sorry, though, didn't he? I think so. Ball back. on the 50, up in the air there. Comes down to Peters on the left foot. Drives it back to centre wing. Gee, there's no one there for Reeson Suburbs. Matty Pilgrim first. Well, Nosson first on the ball. Giles slips over. Matty Pilgrim pushing the back. Free kick will be paid. Bannockburn uh, on, out of centre wing. Matty Pilgrim with the free kick. Player loose on centre wing. And it's uh, Nicky Pavic. And uh, re they're really doing as they like. Pavic over to Giles. Giles runs away. That's a better looking kick to uh, the lead there. Of, oh, uh, good hands. And uh, at uh, 48 metres, he's going to be kicking from probably 55 now. The uh, man on the mark, McCormick, uh, gained a couple of metres. But there's uh, Lincoln East. He's come on this last quarter, presented himself on the forward line, and he's taken the mark 35 metres out. 45 degree angle. We'll take a good kick with the bruise from there. But uh, he's done a good job for a bloke off the, the bench. <laughs> yes, yeah. he has, Eric. Yep. East. Moving in now from uh, kick from 40. Oh, it's up and under. It's going to land through the goals, I think. Gee, didn't look a good kick off the boot, but uh, yep, that's his, goal. Sec his second goal. So uh, he's done very well. Lincoln East. So 18-11, 119 now. Bannockburn on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. 7-6-48, Eastern Suburbs. Great kick in there from Robert Giles. Over the last two days, I've, I've been a little bit disappointed in some of the youngsters. I think the finals have just sorted them out a little bit. And uh, Robert's one of them. He, yeah, a couple of times he's done these baby little kicks. 
when you're playing this sort of footy, you've got to be at it all the time and kicking it hard and long. And uh, that was a terrific kick. And uh, those poor kicks let those kids down a bit. Well, I think young Brett Harding's come on and kicked the ball quite solidly in, in this last quarter. Back in the middle, Frost gets it down to Matty Pilgrim, rides one bump, then threw the ball away, no free kick, Delahunt gets the kick from the middle towards Clinton Shaw, can't pick it up on the half volley, Stefanovski's there, oh, got one high, made sure umpire Fanning saw it too, <laughs> and it will take the free kick at centre half back, <laughs> Jacko has got it. Goes with a booming right boot back into the middle of the ground. Ferguson a long way up and yeah, takes well the done. grab. Now he's got nothing to kick to. Maybe Sheridan. He'll go in that direction, I think, one-on-one. -on -one. Kicks it out in front. Gad has to make up a bit of ground and does well, but Sheridan, second effort, went right, then left. He's got Peters in the uh, pocket and also Stevenson coming out. Stevenson takes the mark. And, oh, <laughs> few fun and games. He's the only bloke who's done that today for Eastern Suburbs, I'll tell you. <laughs> so it will be uh, Morris Stevenson with the football at 50. Been playing at 21 minutes in this final term. 18-11 playing 7-6. Bannockburn into next weekend's first semi-final. Been pretty quiet today, Eric. Yes, he has. Stevenson now. Comes in from 50 and has sprayed it to the left. Three for one behind. So that's his first behind in about um, three outings we've seen, Eric. It's not good, he should get dragged now. <laughs> yes. well, I must say that's one behind from about three kicks today. Is that many yeah. kicks? 7-7-49, Eastern so 18-11, 119, the Tigers. Buckley's Entertainment Centre, final quarter scoreboard. Now Della Hunt goes into the left back pocket. Brett Harding's there, he's got Rose up the field and uh, he can get it to him. He can run to the tank if he can turn around. And he does. Goes with the right boot now. Drills it back towards Frost. Branoff came at him. Did well to intercept and get the hand. Got a good shepherd from Murray. Then oh, nearly breaks a tackle. Got the handball away there to Irving. Can't pick it up. Needs some support. Got Sheridan there. Runs through the middle. Was going to go the hands. Now goes the foot. Oh yeah, good kick around to Peters. And David Peters now. Goes to the right boot long. Leary gave him the lead. Good kick. Can't pick it up on the half volley though. Ferguson gave it straight to Steve Delahunt who can switch play and go to the outer side. Go to Giles. Good mark. No, doesn't pay it. Doesn't take it. Solder comes in. Drags him down at half forward. Held to him. And it will be a ball up. And Sean Braniff, not too good there. I think he might have got a very bad corky. I think he and John Frost, I didn't think they'd either of them going to get up from exhaustion. <laughs> we were going to bury them both there, were we? Yeah. Before the siren, yeah. Ball from the ruck contest. Neither ruckman get an effective tap. Aaron Broom handball over the top. Darby Giles was going to go left. Oh, shorty dropped the footy. Should be a free kick. Oh, the umpire says it's oh. mine. Oh. oh, well, okay. We've been playing 23 minutes. <laughs> That's okay. It's not going to make much difference now. Ball up, half forward, out of side. Eastern Suburbs attacking to the northern end in this final term. So Lamarckia goes up early, gets it down. Goes towards Buckingham and Sheridan. Sheridan handball out towards Sean O'Leary. Usually pretty good in this situation. Turns around and kicks the goal. Good kick, Sean O'Leary. His yep. second. And the eighth for Eastern Suburbs. 8 7 55. Eastern Suburbs. Bannockburn 18 11 119. Buckley Centre Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. They're just sort of hanging to that 10 goal mark tonight. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And yeah, uh, we've got a final score from the uh, Ballerine too in the elimination final down there, Eric. Yes, we have. And uh, perhaps to some a surprise, Drysdale 19-7, 121 have defeated Queenscliff 14-10-94. So Torquay Drysdale next week. Just remember we have to get into the cookie too. He said Queenscliff were going to win the Premiership this year. Uh, very he early. Did too, did, didn't he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do it next week. We'll do it the week after. Now we've got very long memories. Back in the middle, Sol Lamarckia gets it down to Peters. Wrapped up by Matty Pilgrim. Breaks away. Got a handball away. Through the middle, Rick Harding tried to tap it to the advantage of Giles. And he can pick it up, can he? No, Matty Pilgrim's there, helping him out. Can get it back towards... Uh, is that uh, Hewitt running off half-back? It is. Goes towards half-forward. East, Sheehan. Over the ball, Sheehan now. Murray gives him a shepherd. Sheehan, can he pick it up? Yes, he can. He's got Ferguson. He might go in that direction now. He does. Della Hunt. Also Flanagan there. Sean Flanagan. Come through. Oh, Brett Harding. Tacks the footy and gets a high tackle. Jeez, it runs in the family well. She doesn't yeah. it? Just hard at the ball. Whew. Harding now from centre wing. Oh, look, he wants brother Rick. He set him up too. You might have to tell him about that. Rick Harding oh, gets a free kick for a, a sling. And it's play on advantage. Shaw comes in, gets a kick away. Poor kick though in the end coming through. Rundle went left, oh, then went right. Oh, Ronnie oh, came oh, through. Oh. did well. Oh, Ronnie Pilgrim <laughs> came through at pace. Oh, down the field. And that is against Shane Andrews, who came in a little bit late. And it will be Dean Lynch with it at half back. Go. Oh, well, Matty Pilgrim was standing there with his hands on his hips. He really could have taken it, but Adam Sheridan has taken the grab at uh, in the middle of the ground. 
Let's play on, says uh, the umpire. So he gets around Gad easily. Adam Sheridan goes with the torpedo pump for the middle. Shocking kick, but in the end, OK. <laughs> you claim that, David Peters. Great pass. And from 40 metres, kicks a goal. Point. Point, is it? Point, you reckon? Goal. Go on, you lorry. Well done. <laughs> David me, Peters, get your glasses. <laughs> get glasses. David <laughs> Peters kicks a goal, and it's the uh, ninth for Eastern Suburbs. They're nine seven sixty one, and uh, they trail Bannockburn 18 11, 119. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. Yes, twenty five minutes gone, just into time on the uh, the agony nearly over for Eastern Suburbs. Yeah. Laurie, oh, I think so. Yes, they can't come quick enough. <laughs> no, no, I think there's a few players there. It's got very very cold in the last twenty minutes, and uh, I think some of the players have been. Not as active as others might be feeling the cold a bit. Back with uh, umpire Hallett in the middle of the ground. Almost 26 minutes now. Umpire waiting for uh, everybody to get in position. And in he moves. Solder Lamacchia and Frost once again. Solder Lamacchia, well, Frost on that occasion gets it down. Follows up, uh, landed on top of uh, Shorty Peters. And uh, he's been on the bottom of a few packs, particularly in the last quarter. Yeah, he puts himself in, he tries. Yes, he's, uh, he's tried very hard for his team. Secondary throw up in the middle of the ground. Frost and Soldolamakia. Soldolamakia on this occasion. Giles tries to punch it back. It's up again. Frost can't get oh, it well down. Right. Brilliant work there by uh, Young Harding. Brett dodges on the left foot. Not such a good kick on the left foot. Tries to find Zane Carroll in. He does so in the full forward area. Carroll on the left foot. He's had a pot shot, but that also is offline. And uh, youngsters to the... You're uh, playing under 18s, Welshie. Well, yeah, I like that, wasn't it? <laughs> so it's 18, 12, 120 on the Buckley's Entertainment scoreboard for Bannockburn. 9, 7, 61 oh. Eastern Suburbs. <laughs> Harding's got it again. Brett goes towards Carroll. It's under 18 footy here, I think. Oh, yeah. oh good mark. <laughs> I think they're playing on a Saturday morning, these two. <laughs> like, there's nobody else out on the ground <laughs> having to kick the kick. Well, it is uh, now into board. Nathan Murray over the top there, and it will be a mark free kick, whichever one you like. Looks and like O'Keefe. Yeah, O'Keefe yeah. it is, getting up. So Stephen O'Keefe will have it from about uh, 40 metres out. And we'll kick for goal. They've kicked 18. Going for goal number 19 for Bannockburn this afternoon. Comes in now. And just sets it up as it worked back on the breeze. I think it might have. One Point. behind. These goal umpires work out, don't they? So uh, Stephen O'Keefe, one goal three this afternoon. He might have to visit your school during the week, Laurie, I think. Oh. Well, torpedo punt from uh, fullback for McCormack. Goes to Braniff. Should be advantage paid. Ferguson got held on to. Goes now towards Flanagan. Attacks the footy. Can't take it with him. Broom. First back there. Slick hands to Delahunt. They've done that a few times today. Takes a bounce. Steve backs himself. Goes wide towards Nick Pavic. Great play. Got Brett Harding. He must have a disease, Brett Harding. And it goes back in board to Giles. He's still at half forward by himself. They switch play though to Jake Hewitt, who's nearly on the wing. We told him not to be there today. He's there at centre half forward. Goes long towards Andrews and McCormack. Andrews uses the body on this occasion. McCormack works to the front. Shaw. McCormack works hard against two. Clinton Shaw loses the footy. Coming through Sotolamaki here against Andrews, the two big boys standing over the ball, comes through to McCormack again, slung off the foot, he should get a free kick and does, too high and uh, it will be a free kick to Adrian McCormack in the uh, right back pocket for the Eagles goes with the right boot towards Ferguson and Murray, Hewitt goes up as well nobody there though in uh, support for Eastern Suburbs, Roweth left foot kick towards uh, Pilgrim but Mark Buckingham takes the mark at centre half back, switches play out wide, or oh, sets it up for Sean Rundle coming out at Pavic. Got a hand to it, does well, and uh, off hands now towards centre wing. Rundle still got it. Oh, Carroll comes at him at pace, gets him just as he gets his kick away, goes towards Flanagan, doesn't sit for him. Getting back there is Rick Harding, can't pick it up. Rick Harding goes now towards uh, well, Lynch, gets it, and goes with the right boot towards half forward. Sheridan makes up some ground and takes a good mark over his head. Thought about playing on, <laughs> decided not to. <laughs> And he probably got a barrel from here, I reckon. Yes, he'd, you just, reckon? he'd have a go, I reckon, from there. You've got nothing to lose. <laughs> we see uh, Jake Hewitt coming off, Angus Hewitt coming off as well. And Kelvin Gray, we believe, has got a broken ankle as well. So that's not good for us in the suburbs. Adam Sheridan's got the footy on 50. He will have a shot for goal now because the siren has sounded. So they've finished on 18-13-121, Bannockburn. Eastern suburbs have finished on... 9-8-62 because he put it through for one behind. So 
uh, sorry, 18-13-121, Bannockburn and uh, Eastern Suburbs, 9-8-62 in that final quarter. Two goals, four to Bannockburn and four goals, three in a good effort by Eastern Suburbs with the Breeze in the final term. But uh, Noel Fanning is downstairs and he has uh, the victorious coach, Richard Corrigan, with him from Bannockburn Football Club. Well, well, well done, Rich. Um, you're uh, into the first semi-final now against Thompson next Sunday. That's uh, you happy with the way you went into it? Yeah, I thought the boys played really well. Good four-quarter effort. Any questions from up the box, boys? Well, I just want to ask uh, Richie, Jake Hewitt just came off with a corky then, did he? He just wanted to know if Jake Hewitt just came off with a corky. Yeah, just a bit of a kick in the shin. <laughs> well, from my uh, observations, I think you might uh, have Thompson's measure. Well, I'm not going to say that, mate, but I hope so. <laughs> well, thanks for your time. We might catch up with you later on. Yeah. Thanks very much, Richard. Thanks to uh, Richard Corrigan there, Noel Fanning, talking to uh, the victorious coach there. Richie Corrigan is pretty happy. He's seen his team win the elimination final, 18-13, 121. They've defeated Eastern Suburbs, 9-8-62. We'll take a break, then come back with an abbreviated version of the final siren. Thanks to White Cross Healthcare this afternoon. On the other side of this break, you're listening to Geelong Radio Football on 100.3 FM, the home of local football.